So I moved back to India in 1998, August 1998. And that is how I, you know, so after going through the whole world, I came back and joined IIT Bombay. And that is how my, my career in IIT Bombay started. So starting from a remote uh, village like Kolhapur to IIT Bombay and then to Germany and uh, US and coming back. But I think my life changed after I went to IIT Bombay. If I had not done that, if I had not gone to an IIT, uh, I don't think I would have really even known what I can do, what my potential is. I would have remained, uh, you know, I would have worked, found a job eventually. So I would have been there somewhere. But uh, but the turning point for my career came when I joined IIT Bombay. That's why when I tell students, I also tell them, you know, come to IITs. You might want to go abroad. You might want to do anything. But, you know, see what IITs are and uh, and go after you come to IIT. You can go abroad. But I think uh, come to IITs once, you know, spend some time. And because that will that will give you a platform. Because IITs, at the end of the day, you know, all the brightest minds come there. So in the class, you get to see, you know, some of the most brilliant people. And you know where you stand. When you compare yourself with them, you know where you stand. And that gives you confidence. And in some cases, you might lose confidence, which also can happen in some cases. But in my case, I became more confident after I went to IIT Bombay. And because I could see that I am no less compared to anybody else. My English and all that, I got introduced to English after my 12th standard. Because English was a, for us was a third language. But uh, but uh, once, I re, once I went to IIT Bombay, it was all fine. I thought, you know, I can overcome whatever limitations I had. And I, I could, uh, you know, aspire for bigger things in life. I think it's very important. Right, sir.